Community Communication Center or COMAS is organizing its ninth Freedom Film Festival this year in the continuing effort to promote human rights through films with the team Democracy Who's the Boss. Freedom Film Festival or FFF is the brainchild of COMAS and funded by the European Union to promote and advocate human rights and democracy through films. The year-long program starting February includes film proposal competition, video workshop and production, community screenings in rural areas and college roadshows. Comas founder and executive director Tan Johan says the timely theme is adopted to highlight the current state of democracy in Malaysia. Basically, I think Malaysians are interested in human rights issues. It's just that there are sometimes lack of a venue to, to learn about things or to have a platform to discuss human rights issues. So I'm very happy, very, very happy that after 10 years now, we can see that, that progress here. Yeah? Uh, from a very hesitant kind of reception to now is a very outright uh, bold and confident and enthusiastic uh, uh, response to this event. FFF Assistant Coordinator Roger Liu says since the 12th general elections in 2008, Malaysians have become increasingly aware of the power they hold as voters in a country that practices democracy. Democracy was a huge, um, it's not exactly a narrow topic, you know, it's very big and uh, there are a lot of uh, things going on inside democracy, so we wanted to to you know pinpoint exactly what we want to ask because I guess documentaries are about looking for an answer so but before you look for an answer, you need a question so we asked the question who 's the boss? Is it the rep elected representatives or is it much closer to home? you know is it the people you know, are you the boss? Comas invites aspiring or professional filmmakers above 18 years of age to send in film proposals based on the theme. Three of the best proposals will be awarded a grant of 6,000 ringgit to produce a film. The three winning proposal ideas will be premiered together with screenings of other international and local human rights films in September.